Hello student, today I'm going to talk about factors that affect the growth of microorganisms. So there are a few factors that will affect microorganisms. And uh, there, these are the five factors, nutrient, humidity, light, temperature and pH value. So as you know that bacteria need a proper nutrient to, uh, to grow and um, it, it need food to grow. If you put like a, a dry place without food, of course the microorganism can't grow. Humidity, usually bacteria need, uh, microorganism need water to grow or some a bit of uh, water vapor. So you can see that if there's this dry place like, um, like inside a packet of food, you know that inside of it is dry. Why is it dry? Because it is to prevent the growth of microorganisms. So it's a good way to uh, preserve to make the food last long light intensity of light um, if there are too high intensity of light usually the microorganism will, um, will die like um, you can see on the road there's hardly grow any microorganism or algae due to the UV light of sunlight it will really kill um, microorganism uh, temperature bacteria will grow in a probably around, um, this is the graph, so you can see that um, around like 10 Celsius, the, the, reactiv the activity of bacteria is quite little. At 40 Celsius, you can see it's ver um, very active, not 40 actually, it's um, 37. So 37 is actually our own uh, temperature to our own um, healthy human, so that uh, actually microorganism will live well inside our body because our temperature suit the microorganism. So around 60 degrees, most of the microorganism will be dead. Most, but not all. And I would say almost all microorganisms will die at 120 Celsius. That is why you can see like the dentist or the doctor, they, they sterilize the uh, equipment through a pressure that will reach until 120 Celsius. Or before you drink water, you need to boil the water. Why? Because more than 100 Celsius, you almost all microorganisms will be dead. So it's uh, healthy to be drink and it's more safe to drink a, a boiled water. And we can see the pH value. And the pH value for the growth of microorganisms will be seven, it's a neutral. So if two alkaline, it can grow or if through acidic the pH value and the microorganism can grow as well so you can know that you buy some food you know the the food that they um, put in use the vinegar and it's actually causing not the pH value 7 it will be too sour it will be too acidic for the microorganism to grow that's why they can sell in the supermarket for years selling the the food. So uh, in this chapter, there will be a lot of experiment you can do. So there will be five experiment actually. So I won't be explaining the every experiment, but you need to know the concept. Like for example, you want to test nutrient. So what you need to do is you need to put the experiment manipulated like the petri petri dish A with nutrient, petri B without nutrient leave it for a few days then of course with the nutrient it will grow a lot you can see something on the petri dish and then the observation is petri b there's no growth or less growth so the same thing will be for one two three four five let's say you want to test the temperature so you one you put in the under the sunlight or the sun where it's hot another petri dish b you put at the dark place and then so after 10 days you observe so when you observe it, you know that um, Petri A actually, if in the high temperature, the growth is maybe no growth or less growth. And for the dark place, actually it grow a lot. So in the exam, they might ask you, in got fine experiment. They might ask you either one, but you, you can't really read everything, but you need to understand it. Then it will help you in your um, exam. The question will ask you, um, what is what can uh, design the experiment? Let's say it will be a ten mark, and or maybe he will draw something in the objective question. Uh, I mean the subjective question. Read properly the question. The question is talking about nutrient, humidity, light, temperature, or pH value. As usual, the question will ask you what are the manipulated, 
what are the hypotheses, what are the observations, what is the inference, what is the conclusion. Let's take one, one more example. Let's say temperature. What is the hypothesis? Okay, so the hypothesis will be uh, temperature. Uh, microorganism will grow well in uh, optimum temperature, which is 37 Celsius. Then you do the, that will be hypothesis. Okay, I say it again. Uh, bacteria will grow well in an optimum temperature, which is 37 Celsius. And then the observation, the hypothesis, the procedure, I already mentioned it to you. So um, I won't be proceeding to make all the experiment unless um, if there's request from you, then maybe I will do each um, experiment. But the most important thing is for you to understand the concept. But if you really understand the concept, there's really no need to draw out the experiment because I see maybe that there's no point. If you understand, surely you are able to do. So uh, we, are, we are going to do a few more exercise. So that's it for today's video. Thank you very much. Bye.